Good morning, good morning, everybody. It is Friday, Friday, May 26th. Don't forget to pay it forward over the weekend. You had a good week. You made some good money. Always remember to pay it forward. Don't go out to a nice restaurant and leave a big tip. You go to a Waffle House, leave a big tip. You, you, you do something fucking nice for other people. Don't forget to pay it forward. Friday, last Friday of the month. Significant? Eh. Tends to be, tends not to be. We've got PCE, consumer spending, durable goods, and then after the open, the University of Michigan sentiment final for the month of May. But none of that matters because all that matters is the debt ceiling rhetoric, which I'll just go and mention this, right? You got an election coming up in a little more than 12 months. They, you, you could say it's each party. They've got the other one by the throat. Why in the hell would they come up with an agreement on a debt ceiling? It, it, it just, it, it, this is, this is a political bazooka to use for the upcoming elections, but That's it. Uh, Quick update for me. The next 18 to 24 hours, I will know whether or not I'm going to get hit indirectly, directly. Uh, As of right now, it has turned west. Still 290 kilometers an hour, 175 miles an hour or so. Super, super typhoon. So we will see. We will see over the weekend. But I've had... Two hours of sleep since Thursday morning. Uh, We got to get this thing through as far as today. So yesterday, again, 36 point range. On June 1, we're going to start the fat bastard, lazy son of a bitch challenge. Every day, male or female, transgender, suck a dick, whatever you do. Everybody is going to do the SPX range number of push-ups. Yesterday is 36. So today, during the course of today or last night after the market closed before you went to bed, you need to do 36 push-ups. Day prior, 28.98. So let's just call it 29. So you owe 29 push-ups for that day. Number one, you're at least doing some physical fucking exercise. Number two, You're going to build the mental muscle where you're always going to be able to remember yesterday, the day before, at least the last three days, how many push-ups you did. So you're going to remember what the range was, and that is mentally, subliminally going to help you with your strike selection when you are looking at strikes for taking these zero DTEs. Yesterday opened up at 41.55. Closed. Da-da-da! below 4155 so as you saw over there in the alert room uh we started the day out with old faithful 4160 4155 that was prior to 6 a.m giving you the pricing there uh proper risk trade 4145 4140s proper risk safety view take the 4200 4195s you're only getting 30 cents but eh, you know you're trying to be safe and for the nvidia fomo haters 400, 405, or 395, 400s, however you want to put the combo together, going to check the pricing as the day goes on. And as we went into the PDT trade for today, 4160, 4155s, they were getting two bucks. You're getting the same two bucks now, which is what you've got over there in your room. Old Faithful, da, 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 come on through. You started getting 45 cents on those 400, 397, 50s on NVIDIA as the day went. You were getting 4140, 4135s were getting 250, 100% on a close below 4135 with the pivot there. Do, 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 do. This is all 11 o'clock in the morning. And here, we, cle- we keep the alert room and the spread room clean. I post there, Elon Gate posts there. Elon Gate lived with me when I was in Spain. We ran a hedge fund together for a few years. The dude is... I I give him the privilege when he wants to make a trade and post it in the room. I ask him, can you share it? 
Mac sent me a private message and I asked him, would you please not mind sharing this in the spread room? Mac started with me in October with $1,000, $1,000. January, we had him out of PDT over 25 grand. I made a commitment to him when I spoke to him yesterday. I will have his account over $100,000 by July 4th. The kid, okay, kid. The kid is going to have over a hundred grand in his account trading SPX only using interactive brokers by July 4th. I make that commitment to him, to myself. Going through, going through, here we go, blah, 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 boring little day, back to 4155. And where was it again? Because we had the bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Oh yeah, here it was. 1.30 1.30 in the afternoon, as we hit 41.55 again, reload space, and I said, sell all the 41.55, 41.60, 65, 70, 75 that you want to risk. Go ahead. Your chart yesterday, ba ba bam we got an agreement. Oh, fuck, we don't have an agreement. Uh, uh, maybe we'll have an agreement. Oh, yeah, but you know what? NVIDIA and, yeah, and, and AMD and, and, and Microsoft, and this is what all those stocks are doing right here. AI, 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 NFT, Metaverse, Money Printing, AI, Rate Cuts, AI. Welcome. Works every time. And then? You close it. Let that one minute, one minute that you just watched tell you what's happening. <clears throat> we came up there right there at the end of the day, 347. We were still up in the 4160s, still getting that $3, 250 on the 4160, 4155s. And ba boom done for the day and that is why we have now had three session five sessions count you know how to count five sessions in a row where either prior to the open on the email or in the chat room prior to the open the preparation was made so that you could be able to be looking and getting the strike combinations which all five provided better than three dollars credit Yesterday, we got our plus 1% visit. After having two red days of visiting minus 1%, and today is debt ceiling, debt ceiling, debt ceiling, debt ceiling. They can do, they can say, they can do whatever they want, all debt ceiling. This week, candle on the SPX, 41.9078. We had a green week last week. Not saying that we're definitely getting a red week, but... We had a green week last week, breaking up those two red weeks in a row. 41.9078, debt ceiling agreement is on, blah, 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 blah. 41.03, debt ceiling agreement is not on. We can't come up with anything. We're closing shop. Everybody's going to Martha's Vineyard. That's why I posted there for you in the room already for today. Old Faithful is there. It's getting 220 right now. You might get $3 like yesterday. You might not. Debt ceiling, plus 50, minus 50. Safety trade, you got it there as well. 4185, 4180s. <clears throat> Dollar credit, plus 50, minus 50. You don't know. It's all about debt ceiling. Debt ceiling is in control for today. QQQ, huh. new fucking highs, 341. So you have now gone from three. <clears throat> up to 341 from that 260 visit earlier in the beginning of the year you're up almost 100 percent you're 800 points you're up 80 points on the qqq you had a four point range seven point gap up closed up eight but you only closed up 60 cents from the open not bueno But you did visit 2%, and yesterday's high was 2.82% on the day. That is for the QQQ FOMO, which, again, 
QQQ will be posting its fifth red week, closing above that 333 today. So SPX week to date, have that small gap way up here, right up at 4193 from back there on Monday where we gap down. We do have that little gap up there. Obviously, have that gap down below from Wednesday. You can see here whatever chart pattern you want to describe this as being on this little bounce. 42.13, 41.04, 41.65, 50 percent retracement. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to see it. Nvidia week to date, do, 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 379. So all of you who did get into that 400, 397.50 or 395 call spread, plan on closing that out. Microsoft week to date. Another one, smoking crack. You saw the video earlier today. Google, do, 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 do. not as bad, but still with a little bit of a gap from the other day. Apple, absolutely doing nothing, still respecting that 173.88. And AMD, these are your crackheads. AMD, massive crackhead on everything that's going on here. So, Last but not least, we will leave it because it is Friday. Fuck you, Facebook. Fuck you in your ass. I will never, ever trade you again when I get out of this trade. QQQ, you got your big gap from over there on Thursday. Got to change the time frame on the gap, but that is your gap. You're up above 339. Your week began back at 332. So you got a lot to work with here as far as whether or not they have a debt ceiling agreement. Debt ceiling agreement. You're going here to let me show you do, 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 do up to this gap way up here, which is left over here from way back in after the March collapse from way over in April, April 7th. You're heading up there. How? Why? Why not? Because AI is going to change the world. And here's your VIX. VIX, nice visit almost to 2102. Didn't quite get the bears to take full control. And that happened because of NVIDIA, but I want you to just see here NVIDIA, but you're still holding up over here above this 19 level. You didn't have a complete crackdown. And one of the things that I will share, secret code, your QQQ, your tick Q, this is not a 2.82% day. This is not a 2% day. This action hanging around at zero all day, this is not a 2% day. It's not. This is complete shit. And it was all done because of five individual stocks. So hate it, love it, do whichever you want. It's Friday. It's Friday. I'm going to get hit by a super typhoon. It's 95 degrees outside. I hope you all are ready for June, ready for the debt ceiling, and... Don't forget to vote for Ron DeSantis. All right, everyone. So it's Friday night. I'm getting ready to go out. I'm feeling kind. But before I go out, I've got to pregame. And the only way I pregame is with an ice cold Bud Light. So good. Ah, happy Friday.